What's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to PsyD. This channel is dedicated to all things psychology, wellness, and graduate school. The topic for today is going to be introspection. Now, I do think that introspection is super, super important. As future therapists, for you guys who are looking into going into graduate school, that is going to be something that you are going to be asking your clients a lot. <laughs> You're going to be asking your clients about introspection and how to be introspective and how to really think about their mind, their behavior, their thoughts and their actions. All right, so one of the things that we're gonna talk about today is gonna to be something called the reticular activating system. Now the reticular activating system plays a absolutely fundamental role in regulating arousal and sleep-wake transitions. The reticular activating system is actually a part of the brain in which a bundle of neurons act as a gatekeeper for information. So essentially they decide which information, which external information outside in your environment is relevant. Basically, they decide what you should keep in terms of information, what you should store in your brain, and what you need to throw away. And so they relay this information to your consciousness. So this brain area is actually really critical because humans are bombarded with millions of bits of information every single day. And in fact, if we were to pay attention to each piece of information, it would be absolutely overwhelming and a massive sensory overload to our senses, to our brain, and to our capacity. So part of the reason why introspection is so important is because it's teaching you what your brain should focus on, what your consciousness should focus on. There's so many different things in your environment and in your world, whether it's in school or family or relationships that are going on, that it makes it very overwhelming to focus on just one thing. And the concept of introspection is that you're looking within yourself, you're looking within your brain, your consciousness to figure out what are some things that are perhaps holding you back? What are some things that you need to let go of? What are some things that you need to focus on? What are some things that you need to hold on to? Okay, so now that we've learned about the reticular activating system, how can we actually use this system to benefit us in our daily life, whether it's creating positive, healthy habits, whether it's getting rid of bad habits, whether it is getting closer to our dreams and accomplishing our goals and actually using different systems to help us get closer to the person or perhaps the goal that we want to actually achieve and overcome, right? So how do we actually use this system for our benefit? There are some things that you can do to activate the system through the concept of introspection. So one of the things that you can do is that you can think about your goals daily and often. You can write them down, put your goals somewhere where you can actually see them consistently, talk about them, meditate on them, let your reticular activating system know that this is what you need to focus on. And then you can spend some time, intentional time, imagine yourself reaching this goal. You can imagine the sounds, the sights, the smells, and how you feel. You wanna add as much detail to that picture as possible. In other words, you want to be specific. You want to imagine the celebration. You want to picture the people supporting you at that moment. You wanna imagine the sounds, and if your dream even has a taste, you want to imagine what it would be like for your sensory taste bud, all right? You also wanna use your emotions. Some people aren't in touch with their feelings, but emotions can be a great ally when helping you to achieve your goals. Emotions are a great passenger, but they should never be the driver. You wanna use your emotions. In fact, emotions connect to our brain's limbic system, which helps to attach even more neural activity and pathways to that particular image and sensation. So the more passion you have about your dream and goal, the more those neural pathways will become stronger and thus allowing your visualizations to have an even more severe effect on your consciousness. The way that you can get to your goals and accomplish your dreams is by telling your brain to consciously and subconsciously focus on the things that are going to help you to get to that dream. It all starts with being introspective, whether it is about some of the things that you wanna focus on, some of the things that you wanna get better at. It all starts with you and how you can think about your strengths and your weaknesses and therefore get to a place where you want to be. 
If you guys have any questions, definitely put it down in the comment section below. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.